They are known to both urinate and defecate on their perpetrators. I want to get enough uh, footage of them and hopefully I, I can without, uh, without disturbing them enough to the point where they might uh, poop on me. Costa Rica. This small tropical country is home to an abundance of wildlife and is one of the most biodiverse regions on earth. Anywhere you look, whether it be on the forest floor or the stretching canopy, these rainforests are teeming with life. Now today we are on the search for the largest monkey native to Costa Rica. Join us as we start our journey to find the mantled howler monkey. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today we are going to be observing some monkeys, more specifically the mantled howler monkey. Now these are some of the largest monkeys here in Central America. And of course, their name might give you a hint, they're very easy to locate due to their large, demonic howls. So today I'm going to be listening for a... <coughs> That's what they sound like. Hopefully we can locate a troop and hopefully we can film some of these beautiful and spectacular New World monkeys. Let's try. Now, like many species of primates, howler monkeys are also social and communal, meaning that they're going to be traveling in groups. So what I'm trying to do is scanning these trees, looking for the shapes of these monkeys as they move through. These monkeys need to feast and eat leaves and fruits hours and hours a day in order to get the nutrients that they need. So it'll be pretty easy if I'm in the right place to find a group of these monkeys. Let's see. After just a few minutes of searching around, we heard the telltale calls of the mantled howler monkey and we were able to find a beautiful family troop. Now, something really interesting about these howler monkeys is that they are really heavily folivorous, which means that they're getting a lot of their dietary requirements from eating leaves. Now you might think, leaves? That's, a, that's not a very nutritious source of food. That takes a lot of energy to get a little bit out of. Well, that can explain a lot of these howler monkeys' uh, behavior because these animals spend so much time resting and alerting other troops of howler monkeys that they're in the area. So they've got the time to munch on these leaves and then rest and save that energy for breaking down and breaking down and breaking down those leaves. Now, in addition to leaves, howler monkeys will also feed pretty heavily on fruit. Sometimes fruit can even exceed the percentage of their total food uh, over leaves. So they are gonna be constantly checking through the trees. They'll move through a handful of trees every day foraging for food. Now they prefer fresh leaves and it's thought that this might be to minimize the amount of toxins that they might ingest since more mature leaves can hold more toxins. So it's really, really interesting. These are such cool monkeys and uh, they're very, very loud. The males have what's called an enlarged hyoid bone and that can help amplify their voice through the forest. And they're using this call to alert other males, hey, this is where my group is, this is where my family is, we're eating here, don't come bother us, don't come get over here, you stay on your fig tree, I'll stay on my fig tree. So it's a really cool adaptation, uh, and as long as it's not at 4.30 in the morning, it's an adaptation that I enjoy very much myself while I am here in Central America. However, sometimes it is at 4.30 in the morning. So these are beautiful, beautiful monkeys. I really love seeing them. Now, it might not come across over this video, but howler monkeys are among some of the loudest land 
animals on Earth. These animals are capable of producing sounds that are quite uncomfortable if you are too close. It's so interesting to see how you think you're hearing howler monkeys just maybe a block or two away, but you could be hearing monkeys over a mile away. These animals have such a unique voice, such unique vocalizations, and it's always so much fun to hear those grunts like howls as you walk through the rainforest. Now, like most of our New World monkeys, these howler monkeys have a very powerful prehensile tail that they use to kind of anchor themselves in the canopy. Because they're so high up, a fall could be serious injury or perhaps even death for one of these monkeys. So you're almost always gonna see these monkeys with that extra little help with that tail curled around a branch as they reach for food or things like that. Now falls are not really even common for these monkeys as well because they've adapted perfectly for thousands of years to live in these exact canopies. So it's not at all uncommon to see these monkeys jump from tree to tree, climb with ease. Even the babies have no problem at all getting around in the canopy. These are perfectly adapted animals for their lifestyle. It's really, really cool to see these animals. And in fact, I'm hoping that we could show you some, some younger animals as well, some babies. Should be a good time of year to see some of those. So hopefully we can find uh, some little babies to show you. Now, baby howler monkeys usually stay with their mom for around a year. And during this time, they have to learn critical plant recognizing skills before they are evicted from their own troop and have to wander out and find a new one. Howler monkeys are thought to be one of the most intelligent of the monkeys due to the fact that they have to memorize so many plant species. And this is a key learning component when they are in this infant stage. So we were able to see quite a few of these cute little youngsters. How adorable are these baby monkeys? Now, I want to be cautious as I approach these howler monkeys to film them. Uh, we're going to have to move very slow and be relatively quiet because um, howler monkeys are known, should they be perturbed by humans, they are known to both urinate and defecate on their perpetrators. Um, being a normal human being, I do not enjoy the sensation of being either urinated on or defecated on by a howler monkey. So I'm going to do my best to avoid this. Uh, now it's crazy because these animals have to eat a lot and they poop a lot. So underneath these trees where you can find these howler monkeys, uh, the entire forest floor is littered with a kind of mucusy green poop. Uh, so you also don't want that uh, on your shoes or things like that. But these are beautiful monkeys. I want to get enough uh, footage of them and hopefully I, I can without, uh, without disturbing them enough to the point where they might uh, poop on me. I could not get enough of these adorable baby howler monkeys. I am so happy that we were able to see some of these young, young, young baby monkeys as they danced around in the trees and watched us as we were filming them. They're so cute. Well, we had a great time. We ended up seeing a ton of howler monkeys. A nice little troop was kind of sat still for us. A little backlit, but I think we got some really cool shots. Uh, we were able to see some babies as well. They were so adorable. Uh, but our time, my friends, has come to an end. So I must thank you for your patronage, for your viewership. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Of course, buy the merchandise. We got some sick stuff. These are the hooded mantis, Coeridotus. But I must leave you now. So thank you so much for watching. And be sure to tune into the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.